Hello. Uh, today we're going to show you how we can use uh, Ubilix and the Smart Insert functionality for uh, design adaptation. Uh, we're going to take our example with um, with a label for Strawberry Jam that we're going to adapt uh, to become a label for Blueberry Jam. So first of all, let us uh, summarize the functionality of Ubilix very uh, quickly. Uh, what we have here is we have a two-tier uh, system where there is a back-end, a database system, an application that is a copy management system. And we have a front-end with a plugin that is available in Illustrator and in InDesign to manage the copy that resides in the database in the Illustrator file and the InDesign file themselves. So here, for example, we have our Strawberry Jam label with all the copy um, and all the design already done. And uh, we have our plugin here on the Data tab. And what that lets us do is we can select a piece of copy in the artwork and it will tell us what that piece of copy is. For example, what I just selected now is the allergy advice in English for the United Kingdom. I can select here a copyright statement in English and it will select it automatically in the artwork. So basically we have a a piece of artwork that is bound to the copy management system. So as I said previously we're gonna look at design adaptation. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna use that piece of artwork for the strawberry label jam and we are going to uh, produce the blueberry jam label from it. The way we do that is we open the strawberry jam label, we look at our plugin and we select the appropriate brand from that drop down and the plugin will uh, access the copy management system on, in the database through the internet and it will retrieve the list of projects for that brand and we have actually just one project that we're gonna select to see the list of uh, SKUs or labels that are available for that brand and for that project on the server. We're gonna select the Blueberry label and the plugin is now accessing the copy server and is retrieving all the copy and all the graphics that have been tagged as having to appear in the artwork for the Blueberry um, SKU. And we see uh, on the plugin that there were 58 pieces of copy and graphics that were retrieved from the server. And what we're going to do now is we're going to simply click the quick start button and what, our, what the plugin will do is it will take all these 58 pieces of copy, it will look at the piece of artwork that is currently available uh, in Illustrator which is the label for strawberry jam and it will try and leverage that piece of artwork vis-a-vis -vis the copy that we're trying to place and basically um, the intelligence that's built in the system made it so that we placed the blueberry copy and graphics in the right place so let me explain a little bit more. The first thing that you can see is that the background here that used to be strawberries has been replaced by uh, pictures of blueberries. The ingredient list 
is now the ingredient list for blueberries and you can see the word blueberries in the ingredient list furthermore what you can see is that the format of the text for that ingredient list has been conserved for instance the word blueberry is bolded just as the word strawberry was bolded the other data that has been updated is the data for salt because in this particular example that's really the only uh, nutritional data that's different between strawberry and uh, and blueberry jam and that data has been placed uh, properly on the label the other advantage of uh, of the Ubilic system is that all the other copy that is similar between the two labels of blueberry jam and strawberry jam has been kept in place and is actually being reused so that if you take the two labels the same copy is from the server is being reused in the two separate illustrator files um, and that's one of the big advantages of uh, of Ubilix copy reuse so at this point um, what we've done is we've pretty much adapted uh, the strawberry design to blueberry and as you can see it's been done very efficiently um, quickly and with the uh, minimization of the risk of errors um, to show you uh, how this data here uh, has been changed from strawberry to to uh, to blueberry data what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the command Z uh, function on my keyboard to go back to the strawberry data and you can see that it was different um, so at this point once again what uh, what I've shown you is that Ubilix allows for uh, easy reuse of data and easy adaptation of design by leveraging uh, our copy management system and design templates. Um, if you want any more information about our system, you can go to www dot ubelix.com and also feel free to contact us by email or by phone at 513-706-5163 thank you